Russians disgraced themselves with another lie about Putin's best tank, T-90M, details revealed. The Russians tried to pretend that their T-90M Proriv tank managed to survive after being hit by the Ukrainian armed forces from the American Javelin man-portable anti-tank missile system. But this information is not true. Military analysts insist that the ammunition is faulty, writes Forbes. It is indicated that according to the conclusions of analysts, the quickly extinguished fire in the tank, which the Russians passed off as the consequences of a javelin strike, was in fact caused by unspent fuel from the projectile of the tank itself after it was fired. When it became obvious that no one believed the original story, the Russians began to rewrite it, the publication said. This appears to be part of a Russian tendency to present T-90M near-crash cases as success stories. The new explanation was that the javelin lost guidance and crashed where there was smoke. A couple of fragments hit the turret through the cannon. Forbes pointed out that there is currently no footage of T-90Ms actually destroying targets or winning battles, something that could be contrasted with the famous video of an American M2 Bradley infantry fighting vehicle shooting down a vaunted Russian tank. In addition, the Ukrainian armed forces continue to publish numerous videos of T-90M explosions, mainly by small drones, the publication added. Let us recall that it was previously reported how the Russian T-90M Proriv tank which Putin called the best in the world, fell into a crater from the invader's cab, and it became a trap for it. The Ukrainian military took advantage of the situation and hit the tank with a kamikaze drone. At the same time, Russia is inflating the myth of its invincibility, but in fact, its reserves are actually being depleted. If you look at just how the Russian army is armed, it is obvious that they have already plunged into the Soviet past and are reactivating the old T-62 tanks. Russian President Vladimir Putin has visited Yakutia Republic in the country's far east accompanied by fighter aircraft, local telegram channels reported on Tuesday. Local residents have taken footage of at least one Su-30SM multi-role fighter jet accompanying Putin. This marks the first case since the beginning of the full-fledged war in Ukraine of Putin traveling to Russian regions accompanied by military aircraft, Russian publication agents Vo reported. Before this, fighter jets had only accompanied him during trips to abroad. Yakutia is the first stop on Russian President's Far Eastern itinerary. Later today, Putin will travel to North Korea, and he will visit Vietnam on Wednesday, Russian state media reported. Putin last visited the Far Eastern region in September 2014. According to TASS news agency, during his visit to Far East, Putin will get acquainted with the region's information technology sector and defense achievements. The Russian leader is also expected to meet with the head of the Republic of Yakutia Isen Nikolaev. The development comes at a time of heightened tensions between Russia and the West amid his ongoing war in Ukraine. It should be noted that Su-30SM aircraft was developed by JSC Sukhoi Design Bureau for the Russian Air Force and had its maiden flight in 2012. <laughs> Ukraine's new success in drone warfare scared Russians and the Russian army was left defenseless. The Ukrainian military has learned to destroy Russian reconnaissance UAVs using modified FPV drones. The Ukrainians often began to shoot down our wings. This is too alarming a signal. People do not die from such actions, but the consequences may be more serious than from the delivery of dozens of Abrams, wrote Russian military correspondent Alexander Karchenko in his Telegram channel. 
According to him, this could send the Russians back a generation when the Russian armed forces will fight in two-dimensional space while the Ukrainians will wage war in 3D. It also helps the Ukrainian armed forces that FPV drones are cheaper than reconnaissance drones and can replace other weapons. Karchenko said that FPV drones can accelerate to 500 kilometers an hour, putting enemy UAVs, including the geranium, in danger. The military correspondent also complained that the Ukrainian defenders were planning to shoot down enemy attack helicopters when they flew close to the front. Another advantage of fighter drones is their mobility and stealth. Their use does not require multi-ton vehicles, which in modern conditions cannot be hidden. Two people on motorcycles is already an air defense weapon that is very difficult to detect, he explained. According to Karchenko, the most dangerous thing is that the Ukrainians have established a system for detecting and destroying enemy drones. Without them, an FPV drone at an altitude of several thousand meters will not be able to find a target. At the same time, the Russians themselves have nothing to protect their wings. According to the general staff, the most tense situation is now in the Pokrovsky direction, the invaders are trying to break through air defensive lines near Novo Aleksandrovka, Evgenovka, Sokol, and Umansky. At the same time, in the Serebriansky forest in the Luhansk region, there is an advance of the defense forces. The brigade units advanced one kilometer in depth and two kilometers along the front, thereby completing one of the stages of offensive operations in their direction. In addition, the defense forces pushed the enemy back from the village of Lipsy in the Kharkov region.